Yeah, if you say it to me, might just bring me the bacon bottle. I'll just handle that. And these are um, London bricks. Absolute shite. Get stated them. Oh, good morning. I don't even know what date it is. Lost track, but back on the extension after the concreting and we're ready to work. So, give you a quick rundown. Yesterday it was very, very rainy. All day raining. But we decided to come in while it was raining and just do this. Get a bit loaded out. So got all the trench block in, ready. And just made sure everything else was covered up, the materials are covered, bricks are recovered, and the concrete is looking nice. We've remembered our big tape as well so we can get these diagonals in. So goal today is get get the diagonal set up obviously and get this in. It's only one course of trench, one course of uh, four inch and three course of brick if I remember right. So that's not much at all. That's something we could get done in a day. Hello, it's me now on this miserable, miserable Friday. It's um, this is the third time it's raided in the space of half an hour. Uh, James Steele's just been with the, the big steel for the front, which goes across the doors, which is a 5 metre opening, so that steel should be 5.4. And there's a couple of steels to go in, go in the back of the house, so we'll take, take the back of the house out. Yeah, yeah, because we've got... We've already got that opening, so there's going to be a bit of a pillar in the middle, and we're going to take that side out. So those two steels are for the... with all the bolts and everything. All, um, all done to building legs. Uh, we're, up, we're up rating the floor insulation to meet regs, which is all new to us. This is the first job we've done since the new regs came in. So um, that's all been sorted out. Need to get that ordered actually. Uh, no more no more jab light. Onto Celotex or Exotherm or Kingspan now. 100 mil. So um, currently the steels are set outside up there on the road. And then um, Robbie and Robbie's little trolleys. And we're going to bring them in, get me out of the way. When the rain stops, if the rain stops, it's forecast this all day, so we're going to struggle. If it sets in, we might just go and get a bacon bottle. I'll just handle that. Anyway, and when it's uh, gone up a bit, we'll see it out there and get these steels. He's laughing now. <laughs> the wheelbarrows. Out there. No touch. Thank you. 
Right. After a couple of battery issues, we have 96% for now. So, mix is in. Start to spit again because it's just stopped. It's, it's blowing over fast today. So we're going to have a go. We've set out. Here's the corner of our building. 3.4 out diagonal. I'll show you which I've worked out. There's our dimensions. 8470 wide, 3.4 projection, 5 metre door in the centre, 1735 pillar either side. So 3.4 squared is 11.56. 8470 squared is 71.7409. Add them together, gives you that. And then you press the square root key on your calculator and that gives you the diagonal of 9 metres 126. So there's all the information you need. Can't lose that. Don't have to get my phone out of my pocket and the paper can't disintegrate, so sorted. So we've done the two projections, that diagonal's done, so that diagonal is now 9 metres 126, so that corner is square. So we just need to transfer the parallel off that corner to that corner, and then we can always check it, but that's it's all squared off. That'll be 9216 as well. Well I hope not, it needs to be 9126. Uh, yeah. So um, get this one moved up, get some lines up and get that bad boy out. Just see over there, the laser level. So while I mark this one up, Alex can get the laser level set up. I'll have to do this quick because I don't want to get it wet. Yeah. And it's spitting, everybody in, spitting. Has anyone got their PTK tickets after all that kerfuffle by the way? Oh yeah, put in the comments below, did you get PTK tickets? And if you did, when for? Yeah, and how much did you pay? We're going May 23. 24. Is it? Yeah. What, we're not going next year? No, because I'm giving you the tickets for Christmas next year now. Right. Oh, I'm confused. Okay, check the diagonal then. Nice and tight. That's it. Stream that out. Oh. Right, take it Start up. Again. So that's all our markings done, diagonals are set out, so now we just start laying on there. Mix is ready, get the laser level out, and then obviously not in that order, laser level first, and then we'll uh, get this laid out. And by the way, this, this concrete, it took 4.2 cube because we've brought it up higher, so um, and that 4.2 cube cost us 763 pound. Uh, which is a bit of a shock, but it is what it is. That's that's price and stuff now. It's got to go in. Yeah. So the concrete level we brought up to is one trench, three face, one concrete block on the back. So it'd be uh, three brick, one block, round to 1735. Then it'd be just face work across the front where the door is, and the block work stops and returns there. So the, the slab runs into the doorway, and then you've got your cold bridge and strip around the perimeter. And we've had to up rate the um, insulation now. I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but I'll edit one of the other out to um, the PIR boards because if we do the we do jab light now, it's got to be 160 mil. And the price of 160 mil of jab light is four pound different. I think it's actually cheaper for the PIR boards now. What would be nice is if we get into a situation. Oh, it's the Gunkoff the polish polycarbonate. Do you want to use the staff because the staff's got a proper flat bottom to measure to? Oh. So, you might remember from maybe just picking this up. Is that driving to work? <laughs> you might remember from the foundation when we put the levels in. We started at the far end and came back and ended up in half courses because the house is 30, 30 it's in half courses, isn't it? It's yeah. About 35 mil out of level. So, I had to swap back and start the levels from this end because you always start at the end, with, which is seen. We're not we're not um, tying in because it's block work, so we can start at this side. So basically, we, we put um, we take our level off this DPC, 
and then transfer it around from there. It's always good news when you put your levels bang on, on one side at least. Right, you're in the way, I think. Well, there's no mic again, so I'm up close, so hopefully this works. <laughs> that is a full mix. Minus that little bit, but that's not enough to get a block in, but bloody hell. <laughs> Whole mix has gone in. 14 block. Once the uh, trench blocks are in, one, we can start setting up the rest, and two, we're out of the water then. All the all the work is out of water, because all the trench block of air. Uh, done that for us so that's always the the best part about the trench block going in so yeah I'll get this mix on I'll catch you back over here
Right. Oh, about quarter past two, we had a late dinner. We wanted to get the trench book in before dinner, so Alex has done all the trench book. Well, I set that one in the corner. Alex done the rest, I've done the loading out and the mixing. That took two and a half mixes, that, that one closer trench block. So, um, see, yeah. see the lintels are in, and we've cut the blocks over the lintels with the trusty um, evolution saw, cracking saw that. So we're all levelled up, squared up. We've got three coats of brick to come off here now. So this just shows you how high this ground is. So we're only coming up another 225 there. It's not so bad that end, but anyway. Uh, so yeah, um, 1735, so three course of brick, one course of block, returns around here, 1735, block work or return, and return back. So then face work goes right through, no block on the inside skin, floor across onto, the, onto that. We put thin insulation in and we're raising the floor level to the existing. It's having handy, haven't actually on show, so we can work off that, we can actually tamp off that when we're doing the floor. Um, so that's our level, so we work down from that, so it would be 200, yeah 200, so we've got to bring the hard coal up a lot higher than we thought for the first. And while we're doing that, that needs changing, all that broken bits of clay and concrete, I'm going to go right back to the wide junction which is down there, just see it there, where I've, I've already dug that out and found it there, where you see that cut out, so I'm going to go back to the Y. Put it back to the original pipe and put new plastic into the toilet. Got to mix in. Got a few bricks loaded out here, and these are um, London bricks. Absolute shite. Get state of them. I'd say a third, and we're going to get binned. Luckily, we've allowed for four courses, but we've only got three, so we're going to have enough good bricks out of the, all the shite that's gone. So I'm going to get a corner pane now, and we can get this side running, get this side finished. We're not going to get it up to damp now. It's quarter past two. It's like a flat start and it goes dark before four o'clock. So we don't want to be jumping up in the dark. So it's enough waffle. I'm gonna set you up, I'm gonna build this little corner and get start running in. See you in a minute.
brick, isn't it? With regular joints on the tighter shaft, it should work. Should be enough, shouldn't it? Yeah. Definitely. Right. I didn't even know if we were still on. How many more do you need roughly? About another eight. Maybe more. Eight? Yeah. Oh no, hang on. Half a dozen.
One decent thing about London is the light. Yes.
Oh, right, there we go. That's it for today. The rain was a bit of an issue today, but I managed to get through it and get this done at the very least. God, it's all over the dirt here. So, all that's left to do now is just cover up and we're off for today, but just a little look. All the trench block are in. Brickwork's up on both sides. Blockwork's up on that side. So, come back tomorrow. Try and get them reds run in, get them block run in. And then we're going to see about these ones because there's talks about it being a 50mm or a 100 we're not sure yet, so we're going to wait for that. But we can get all this in at least and maybe start doing some backfilling around this part, so yeah. The jury's out about the 50mm wall. The reason it's one, one at 50 is so that everything lines through in the kitchen when that hole comes out. So if you do a 50mm wall, you've got to make up for the insulation somewhere else, either in the floor, in the other wall or in the roof. So it's, 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 it's a matter of juggling the insulation around. So um, we'll wait till we're back about that, rubbing and rubbing on with that bit, but um, we'll see what happens. But at least this side's in, this side's all set out. This isn't changing, this is 100, it's staying 100. Yeah. So we obviously... didn't do that side, which we wanted to do just in case it does get changed. So we'll wait to see and find out. Yeah, so at least now that's ready for damp course and tail wires and back film, whatever. So anyway, see you tomorrow.